Okay, welcome to the second uh, card game that I'm going to teach. Uh, this one I didn't do in second grade because second grade division is not really a standard, but I started working on it in fifth grade. And in fifth grade, it's actually second grade and multiplication is not a standard, it's introduced. But in <coughs> fifth grade, um, division is something that we work on a lot. So uh, when you look at it, uh, you actually have to think in terms of um, uh, the whole array first and then you refine it or filter it down to rows and columns. So if I was using the array to explain division, I would say, well, how many are in the array? Well, first you have to do a multiplication problem to get to division. So if I have six uh, cards in each row and I have three rows and six times three equals 18 cards total, then to explain the division to them, you'd say, well, there's 18 cards divided by three rows means six, one, two, three, four, five, six cards in each row. You could also say um, 18 cards divided uh, with three in each column equals six columns total with three in each column. Okay, so that's how you would explain uh, division using an array. And um, the way this works then is you actually have to do the multiplication to get your quotient and after you get the quotient then you can figure out what the dividend and the divisor are. So the way this game is played is uh, I see that there are two jacks and I'd say uh, in my brain I say well jack times two because each jack is worth ten and uh, in, in the game divisionaries um, all face cards are worth ten uh, but they're not interchangeable. You can't say, okay, there's a jack, jack, queen, 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 those are all 10, then 10, uh, the total would be 50. I, I can't do that. Um, what I have to do is I see the face cards, jacks are the same, so I say jack times 2 equals 20 in my brain, then I say 20 divided by jack, or 20 divided by 2 equals jacks. And then when I say the jacks, I get to take the, the jack cards. That would be player one would say, okay, I get to take the jack cards if everybody at the table uh, confirms and verifies by either saying jack, check or verify. So, you know, like say for example, player one says jack uh, or 20 divided by 2 equals jacks. And player two would say, okay, verify. And so player one gets the jacks. Dealer deals. Player two notices that there's a higher amount of queen cards than uh, any other uh, cards on the table. So they want that one. So they say queen, not queen. They would say queen in their brain. They'd say queen times three equals 30. So 30 divided by three equals queens. And then table one, or not table one, but um, a player one would have to say, okay, uh, verify. And so after it's verified, player two gets to take those cards. Person with the most uh, cards at the end of the game wins. Okay, So dealer deals again. And then uh, in this case, when you look at it, the highest number of multiples on the table would be, in this case, six, because you see six times four. Great, I see four sixes. I'm going to do that one. Six times four is 24. So in my brain, I have to actually say, 24 divided by 4 equals 6's. And then so uh, player uh, 2 would have to verify that player 1 got it correct, which is uh, 24 divided by 4 cards equals the 6's. And so player 1 gets that. <laughs> All right, now it's player's two turn, two's turn, and player two says, uh, four divided by two equals twos. And player one will notice that there was a mistake made because there are not uh, only two twos on the table. There are actually three twos on the table. So what player two should have called was six divided by three equals twos. And in that case, player one stole player two's turn. And uh, player two has, has to verify, okay, you got me. So verified. Okay, so player one is now in the lead. Dealer again deals. Um, again, tens are separate from jacks. But what we do not allow is we do not allow uh, ten divided by 
10 equals jack. <laughs> or 10 divided by 1 equals jack. You can't say 10 divided by 1 equals jack and just take the jack card. That's just too minimal. You have to have a, a, a divisor of at least 2 in order to state the equation. Okay? And so um, the strategy is to go for the greatest number of cards, not the greatest value of the cards. So we're not adding anything up at the end, and the reason why is because um, oftentimes you just want to grab the cards, stack them next to each other, and say, okay, who won? Maybe uh, if you're in a classroom, you say, who won? Bell rang. Then you just take the stack of cards, and then you put them next to each other. Obviously, player won. One won that one. If you look at, the kids like to look at it from the side and see who's got the tallest stack. Well, player one got the tallest stack, so player one uh, gets to win, then they got to put the cards away, obviously. Okay, if you see jokers, jokers are a value of 20. So say for example, we're playing with jokers, because I don't really like to edit any of the decks, and oftentimes, you know, you can get like cards from families, you could just say, hey, you know, anybody got any loose cards they want to donate to the classroom? And most every family's got cards that, you know, decks with cards missing, and they say, yeah, fine, you know, take these, or you could tell the kids, play it at home with your messed up deck decks of cards, or with whatever decks of cards you have. They don't have to be special, they just have to have numbers in them, and that's how I base my games, is based on um, uh, numbers on cards, not full decks of cards, not how many decks of cards, but it's best to play it with two decks of cards. Okay? I hope uh, you can get some good division practice with this game. Thank you for watching. So in this case, oh, just wait a minute, in this case, uh, it would be Joker uh, in my brain, I could do, uh, you could actually say it out, it's not a problem to say it out, that, with it, that way that kids see in a relationship between multiplication and division, you say, well, since uh, jokers times 2 equals 40, because each joker is worth 20, joker times 2 equals 40, then 40 divided by 2 equals jokers, and so um, after it's verified, you could take the jokers. Okay, with uh, ones, we don't have ones in the deck, so we would typically say, um, 2 divided by 2 equals aces, and then uh, that would be acceptable. You don't have to say the multiplication form in order to move forward. It's just all about the practice and all about manipulating the numbers in your head. Okay? Oh, and uh, 